Dear Naven Max, my name is Danny, and I have a special someone I've been trying to meet for quite some time. Her name is Rosa. We both live in Orlando, but we've never met. I first saw Rosa almost two years ago. I was like, wow, this girl's gorgeous. I messaged her a bunch of times, but I didn't get a response until last year. We finally started texting and calling now every day. When we first met, she was living in Connecticut. So I told Rosa to hurry up and move to Orlando ASAP. In February, she actually got a transfer. We started to make plans to meet, but then Rosa started to give me the runaround. She straight up stood me up a couple of times. I feel like she's hiding something. She just got to Orlando, and one of the messages that I received was that she had gotten arrested down here. She already beat up another girl. Same story, uh, one of the co-workers, girlfriends, you get jealous of her, the girl spat on Rosa's face, and Rosa just uh, beat her down, man. Um, she actually slammed her face in the floor and everything. But um, everybody has a different life, you know, and she hasn't had it good. She tells me that she got molested when she was uh, a child. This is the oh, first wow. page. 1,700 friends. In 2014, you messaged this account with a silly puppy love yeah. emoji. She yeah. never responded that. So let's look at the second page. A hundred friends. That's weird. Seems like too few. You sent her the same emoji. Which of these accounts were you talking to? The third one, this one. Oh, and this one, she only has 15 friends. Come, Come on. What? Come on. That's really suspect. Let's go to the fake pages for Rosa. Let's go so to the friends. So let's see who the friends are. Brand Brandy, she was on our show. What? She was on Catfish. Wait, yeah. I went to meet her in like Dallas. Yeah, I remember. Why do you have a profile online that's of someone else entirely? I guess I just didn't want to be myself anymore. Wait a second. I mean, that's crazy that a previous Catfish is friends with a current Catfish. That could be Rosa. Hey, it's been a long time. It's Neve and Max. Hey, Brandy. Oh, hey. The reason we're calling, it's kind of crazy, but we're, we're working on a, an episode right now. We're looking up this person who we believe to be a catfish, and on one okay. of their pages, you're friends with this girl, Rosa. Uh, her name doesn't sound familiar. She only has 15 friends, this girl, and you're one of them. I've never talked to her before. I don't really know who she is. Right. Um, you know, if anything occurs to you, let us know. I think it's very suspicious that of the 15 friends on Rosa's profile, one of them is a former catfish. What's interesting about Brandy is that she was talking to a guy who was in Jacksonville, Florida. So her episode had something to do with Florida. She had a kind of somewhat dramatic past not too different from Rosa, right? Rosa, she's gotten in a lot of fights. She was molested as a child. Anybody could be Rosa at this point. The only thing that we do know for sure is that the phone number that you're communicating to her through is connecting you to her. Hello, is this Rosa? Um, yeah, who's this? My name is Neve from the TV show Catfish, and we were called by your friend Danny to help what? him, yeah, we did a little bit of research and we discovered that the girl in the pictures that you've been sending Danny is somebody else. You know, we, we know that that girl's name is Natalie. What? And okay, so I'm just saying now I'm really getting mad that you know that he got in contact with y'all. Like, really, like, you're gonna basically call me a liar. Like, you don't even know me. Well, I'm not I calling you, no I'm not. I don't got no reason to hide I'm not calling you a liar, I'm just trying to, to figure out if there's any way that we can meet up with you. I mean, I don't know, I don't, I really don't know. Are you in Florida? I'm in Connecticut. Okay. Does he really want to meet me? More importantly, do you really want to meet him? You know what, okay. I'm, I'm gonna tell him the truth. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm about to stick my head in for a second. What's he doing? I'm sure you must be pretty nervous. I just didn't this. know that he was standing right there. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> take it easy. Just take a second. I'm assuming you're Rosa. Yep. Just 
be yourself, be honest, say whatever it is that you feel comfortable saying. I'm ready. Okay. Oh my god, bro. This is Jose. As I understand, Jose has been Rosa. Yep. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, bro? I am ashamed of myself. Yeah. I am, and I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to hurt the person in the picture. I used to be bullied in school, you know, by her and obviously a group of other people. So you created the account to, to take revenge on her? Basically, yeah. Whatever you have against this girl, bro, what does that have to do with me? What you did was wrong. And I admit it. And um, what I, did. I have nothing to say to you, man. This is an embarrassment, for real. I'm done here. I didn't mean to hurt him, you know? But I was going through so much at home, and the only reason that I did continue talking to Danny, like, I wanted to stop at first. You know, but he was the type of person that he sat there, you know, and he listened. He listened and actually gave me advice and never tried to judge me. Everything that I said that, you know, that Rosa was going through, I really went through it, you know, as me, as Jose, you know? I told Danny, you know, that Rosa was sexually abused. I mean, it happened to me. I was in pain. I, to this day, I'm still in pain. I just try to find an escape. I tried to find an escape to, through drugs. I used to do drugs heavy, you know? The only way that I stopped doing drugs, I got locked up. And that was the only thing that was helping me. I felt like being somebody else, being somebody that you're not, being somebody that you can actually talk to somebody and they can't judge you on your past because they don't know nothing about your past. You have every right to be mad and to not want to do anything more for this guy. But if you really wanted to be a hero, and go beyond, the one thing you could give him is to let him know this is not something you're going to hold against him for the rest of your life. And that might lighten his burden a little more. So you were Rose's voice. Now I'm really getting mad. You're going to basically call me a liar. Like, you don't even know me. Can we hear the voice right now? I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know, a lot of things have been changing in my life. Wow, that's good. I'm gonna give you some advice, man. You know, first of all, erase those pages. You need to let go of those demons that are kind of like from the past. Stop worrying about Natalie, people that bullied you. You need to focus on you. Go to church. Once you start having a relationship with God, that's when God starts blessing you. Pero padre, yo sé que tú tienes un plan para él para ayudarlo a levantarse de esta oscuridad. Padre, te pido que brilles tu luz en él y lo lleves en el camino correcto. Gracias por escucharnos, Padre. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Danny. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Are you dating anyone seriously right now? Nothing serious right now. You know, I've been uh, dating here and there. Do you ever talk to Jose? You know, a couple of weeks after the show, I started actually texting him some positive stuff. I was like, you know what, man? Instead of kind of like avoiding him, this dude needs help. Let me do what I can. Uh, hey, how you doing? Wow, wow look you look, guy. you're all cleaned up. Yeah, you look like you lost some weight, too. Yeah. Uh, I've been working out. Well, I actually got my own place now. I'm very excited, you know. Living here is great. I'm working for a new company now. I really like it. I'm still doing door to door. Sales? You know? Mark sales. I, sales. I love sales. And I've been going to church. When I go there, you know, I feel more peaceful. I feel comfort. I feel like that's where I belong. That's nice. Have you made any friends through the church? I have made a couple of friends. Um, I'm kind of talking to somebody right now. It was actually one of the customers that I met knocking hey. on their door. Have you been talking to, to Danny at all? Danny was a great person, but Danny's somebody that I want to leave in the past. You know, right now, I'm very happy. You know, I'm closer to my family now. And it's just amazing waking up every morning and just knowing that you don't have to make no lies up for the day. You don't have to live a double life.